Back to our top stories now. Those two local Hillsborough County deputies intentionally struck by a driver this morning. They are severely injured. News Channel 8's Nicole Rogers has been at the scene this morning. Uh, we just heard the update from the sheriff, Nicole. We did miss the early part of that press conference. We were not on air yet. Can you tell us more about that? Stacey, good morning. A lot of details came out of that press conference. Sheriff Chad Chronister, like you mentioned, said that this was intentional and it was an ambush and attack. Now, I'm going to step out of the way here and give you just a look at where our view is here of the scene. But earlier this morning, we had Eagle Aid up, which gives you a better look at what's around the corner here at the cul-de-sac if you take a look at that. Now, we're told that this all started just before 745 this morning when a mother called 911 saying her son was having a mental health crisis. Deputies were responded and were told that the son was in a car and so those deputies went to the car. They tried to de-escalate the situation. We're told that the suspect would not roll his window down or engage in any sort of conversation. Now we're told he then put the car in reverse and left. Sheriff Chad, Chad Quanister says that he never had to return to the scene. He could have just left, but he drove back to the scene at a high rate of speed. We're told two deputies jumped in between two patrol cars, and that's when the sheriff said he aimed that car at two more deputies and hit the gas. Sheriff Chad Cronister says those two other deputies never stood a chance. They were hit. Now, one of those deputies may have to have their leg amputated. A piece of his femur bone was left at the scene. Now, doctors are asking to get that back. We're told both are in surgery at Tampa General right now. Now, the other deputy was also hit and suffered significant leg injuries. Both, like I said, are in surgery right now. We spoke with neighbors who said they heard it and they ran out of their houses to see what was going on. You can see the officers originally walking around either the van or the car like you know they're, they're like they're coming to check out the scene or something and next thing you know you see the gray car Whew. and boom some people describe the sound like they heard it was a gun shot, but that wasn't no gunshot that you heard it running into something Right now, Aid on Your Side is doing more investigating on the suspect in this investigation here in Brandon. Sheriff Chad Cronister told us that back in 2017, he actually did get into an altercation with law enforcement where he punched a deputy. They put him in the back of a patrol car, and he told them that he wanted to kill law enforcement and that he hated deputies. Of course, we're going to continue investigating, and of course, as you can see, deputies are continuing their investigation here as well. We'll have more on this at News Channel 8 coming up this evening and online at WFLA.com. Live in Brandon, Nicole Rogers, 8 on your side.